Cleet. How's it going? Cleet? That's got to be trouble. <laughs> Come on, Roy's just the water delivery guy. Hey, I missed you last week. Oh, yeah, I was at the dentist. Oh, come on. With that pretty smile? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Nothing to worry about. Man, that guy must work out seven times a week. That reminds me, I gotta take a nap. OK, I'll just go get you a check. I'll be take right back. Take your time. I'll be here. Hey, buddy, uh, I'll take those for Helen. I'm her husband. It's OK. I'm just waiting to get paid. Oh, well, here. This cover? Uh, yeah. Well, just tell Helen I'll see her next week. You might want to call first. Helen, really not into water anymore. <laughs> just hand me those bottles. Whatever. Joe, what are you doing with those bottles? And where's Cleet? Had to go. <laughs> Another delivery. So, where do you want these? Well, Cleet usually puts them in the kitchen. Okay, no problem. <laughs> All right, then. Glad I could be of help. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. How would you like to get in on the ground floor of the hottest new investment opportunity of the 90s? These are words I'm going to live to regret. Tell me more. Ready? Huh? Rob's kebabs. You mean shish kebabs? No, 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 no. Not just shish. No, no, no. Here. Look at the brochure. If you skewer it, they will come. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry, Roy. I don't mean to be a stick in the meat, but uh, all my money's tied up in falafels. Hi. Hey, Casey. How's it going? Well, I just got my two-week notice from the Board of Tourism. I'm getting laid off. Oh, that's hey, terrible. Hey. Getting fired has got to be the worst thing in the world. You feel so rejected and worthless and stupid and no good to anybody. Faye, why don't you just take her out back and shoot her? Yeah, I can't believe that they're letting me go. I gave them such great ideas for boosting winter tourism on this rock, you know? And all they did was just reject everyone. Hello? Uh, yeah, one second. Casey, it's your boss. Oh, God, what does he want? Well, isn't it obvious? He probably wants to can you now, making you feel all the more stupid and worthless hey. and no good to... <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Douglas. You sound very handsome today. <laughs> what? You're kidding. Uh, yeah? Okay, thank you. I can't believe it. One of my ideas came through. Oh. Nantucket's going to have a sister city. Isn't that fantastic? Huh? Huh? <laughs> OK, I'll take a shot. What's a sister city? Oh, um, you pick a foreign city, and you establish economic, cultural, and tourist ties. And now Nantucket has a brand new sister, and her name is Kiranon. Kiranon? <laughs> Never heard of it. Kiranon? Yeah, but I know where that is. It's just lovely, it is. It's got beautiful, in a sandy, with a, in a sky. And boy, I, there's just no better than Kira Dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I better go read up on it. You know more about it than I do. <laughs> Uh, listen, Joey, uh, I'm running a little behind. Do me a flavor. Pick up my suit from the cleaners, will ya? I'm, uh, Casey's escort for that sister city thing she's throwing tomorrow night. Yeah, I guess she just wanted a little arm candy to walk in there with. Okay, over and out. Uh, to the pilot. It's me. 
You are incredibly hot. I keep fantasizing about all the things I want to do to you. Meet me after we land. I'm sitting in back on the right. Hmm. Although I am flattered, this is not my scene. <clears throat> oh, what a difference a row makes. Hey. Hey. What would you like? Well, I see there's a ring on your finger, so I guess it can't be you. Oh, you. Now, if you keep that up, I'm just going to have to give you a whole lot of free food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a night I had last night. I met the most fantastic woman. It, I had the most passionate night of my life. We made a connection like you would not believe. Really? What was her name? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just call her Passenger B6. You don't even know her name? Well, you know, we didn't do that much talking, if you know what I mean. And next morning, she left without saying goodbye. No note, no nothing, just walked out the door, didn't look back. Oh, man, that's class. <laughs> you know what? I really uh, do not miss being single at all. I am so glad that I'm in a long-term relationship based on love and trust. Excuse me, I gotta go save my marriage. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good. So you met Stanley. Stanley? And she said her name is Helen. Well, <clears throat> yeah, it's Helen now. <laughs> but, uh, when we were on the wrestling team in high school together, it was Stanley. He was a, a small boy, but he was wiry. <laughs> you know, I think he's got... Oh, she's, she's, she's... Uh, I think she's got her eye on you, lucky dog. Have you decided? Uh, you know, I don't think I'm that hungry. Uh, I'll see you later, dude. Hey, Helen, can I, can I get a cup of coffee? You sure can. Faye! Centavlor Macarnum, Helen. <laughs> well, the same to you, Faye. It's not even five o'clock yet. Yeah. <laughs> Centaur Macarnum means good afternoon in Kirana, and, and this is one of their native costumes. <laughs> I thought it would be a nice way of saying welcome when they arrive today. You know, I, I don't see why we have to invite a bunch of foreigners here. <laughs> they, they take our jobs, they date our women. Before you know it, they're, they're acting like they own the joint. Are you gonna pour that or what? <laughs> Uh, ruled by Prince Restavon and his wife, Princess Fala, the tiny island city of Kiranon is responsible for a third of the world's talcum powder. Isn't that fascinating? Yes, but they're in a chafed butt in the whole place. Hey, the prince and princess will be coming through that gate right over there, so we need the councilman here and the press over there. Oh, I've never been so nervous my entire life. Well, try not to perspire, dear. They're a dry people. <laughs> They're here. Um, oh. Welcome, Your Highness, to our island. I am Casey Davenport. And even though this is not your country, our goal is to treat you like royalty. Now, if you just give us a few minutes, our minivan needs a jump. <laughs> I'm sure our visit will be as delightful as you are. Oh. Thank you for inviting us, Miss Davenport. <laughs> and where, may I ask, is the other lovely highness? Oh, actually, my wife came in yesterday. She likes to mingle with the locals. Ah, oh, here she comes now. <laughs> Joey, did you see my... Oh, man, man, Joey, that's her. <laughs> Who? The woman I told you about, the amazing, the fantastic... The princess? 
Okay, so she was a little whiny, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Idiot, the princess of Kiranon. And that's her husband, the prince. Way to go. Hey, come on, you guys. Casey wants us over there. Their highnesses are receiving. Uh, 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 maybe I shouldn't go. Uh, I mean, I've already received. <laughs>
Oh, I'm in trouble. See how low cut the dress is? You can see her garaganas. <laughs> All right, so I picked up a couple of words last night. Two of them were garagnas. Casey, need to talk to you now. Antonio. Now. Look, don't move, don't talk to anyone, don't do anything stupid. You're really tying my hands here. <laughs> It's about the little princesses. The dogs? What about them? They're not dogs. They're furry, yapping piranhas. <laughs> Look what they did to me. Antonio, where are they? I was driving them to the groomer when they decided to use my back seat as their royal potty. So I stopped the car and I told them to get the hell out. Oh, are you insane? Too soon to say. The rabies test hasn't come back yet. Look, if I can hang on just a few more minutes, the sister city thing will be official, okay? You find those dogs and bring them back here. You understand me? Fine, fine, fine. You know, there's still a few spots in my cab they haven't fouled. <laughs> it's just at six o'clock. What am I gonna do? Okay, you just stick with me. Everything will be fine. All right, yeah, I can get through this, right? I got willpower, I got self-control. Hello, Brian. May I have a word with you in private? Absolutely, upstairs, okay? Uh, <laughs> uh, princess, princess. Um, <clears throat> It's not that I don't understand your taste for our local fare, but there are some, how can I say this, dishes that are best tasted only once, much like mango. Uh, the first time that you eat it, you think, wow, this is the most wonderful thing I've ever had. And the second time, it's dull and stupid and you don't know what you ever saw in it. <laughs> well, then you are not preparing it correctly. You have to handle it very carefully in order to bring out the natural juices. <laughs> Believe me, when I serve mango, everyone begs for more. So, who wants mango? I could go for some fruit. <laughs> The prince is looking for you. Go run! No, he's just talking to that awful kebab friend. man. <laughs> oh, my God. If you'll just excuse me for a moment. And in the kebab game, you got your fast turnover, you got your low overhead, and you have got one hell of a takeout business, because remember, goat travels. Your Highness, the city council is waiting to speak with you. Oh, thank you. Uglop Schmitz. Why did you do that? Stay away from the prince, Roy. I don't want anything getting in the way of the key to the city. You... Oh. Oh, hello, it's Jafra, isn't it? The little princesses. They have returned? Uh, no, but Roy's here. <laughs> you, uh, you look like a pretty shrewd businessman. Now, I'm gonna do you a big favor, pal. Oh. Your Highness, I just had an idea. What if we exchange the keys to the cities now and make it official? Very well, but we cannot proceed without my wife. Uh, where is the princess? Uh, well, last time I saw her, she was over there, and now she's not. So if you will just excuse me for a moment. I... There you are. Where have you been? Oh, don't ask. I don't know what's wrong with Joe. We drove up. The valet tried to help me out of the car, and Joe screams, Hey, buddy, ain't you getting enough at home? And just sped off. Listen, I really need your help. Just a second. I'm going to try the national cocktail. Hmm. That was kind of goopy, isn't it? You don't have time to drink that. I am in a lot of trouble. The princess is all over Brian, and if the prince finds out, I'm finished. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, distract him, dance with him, talk to him, flirt with him, just make sure that he doesn't see them. Oh, forget it. I'm not going to do that. Fine. Then I'll just lose my job and live off you for the rest of my life. Yo, Prince, come to Mama. <laughs> Hello there, stranger. Hi, hi, hi. Um, well, uh, bye. <laughs> no, I want to dance. Oh, I don't think that's such a good idea. Um, your husband is on the dance floor, and there's people all around. Oh. Okay, okay. Excuse me, coming through. Dead man walking. <laughs> Antonio, what are those? 
The best I could do. The royal rodents are gone, baby. Long live princesses Zelda and Lightning. See ya. What is going on? Those are the royal dogs. Uh, well, on Nantucket, uh, we take your dogs and we give you our dogs. It's called the traditional Nantucket dog train. <laughs> Hey, Casey, seems like a really nice party. What the hell is going on over there? What is the prince doing with his head buried in Helen's carognis? No, don't! Just let me get my key! Okay, pal, time to cool off. Joe, what are you doing? What am I? What am I doing? Let's ask the prince what the hell he's doing with my wife. Why don't we ask him what he's doing with my wife? You know what? Time for the key exchange. What do you think? Huh? 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 <laughs> yes, is this the tourism board of New Delhi? Good news, we're interested in being your sister city. Uh huh. Well, if you could just have somebody return my call, my office number is 508 555 0174. Just ask for Casey Davenport. All righty, Helen. Catch you next Monday.